than 28, which is it's very, very, if, if you if you take this you know, two, 203, we will say that this is very rare, right? You go out to the, to the market and you buy a package of oil, it will be very rare that you have an, a, a, a 528 gram based on this information. Okay. And again, uh, it's very small. It's, it's not even 1%. So again, this picture, uh, like I say, this picture is, I'm just sketching. So show you which region we will be looking at. Pretty much it's like, if we were to do this from here, it's like a... And very, very, very small. Okay. Um, so again, let's, uh, let's do the last part and then I will take any question you might have. You know, let's do the last part here, which is again, find a percentage of package that will weigh between the 514 and 520. So again, same idea, right? Sketch your normal distribution curve, identify your, your endpoint, which is again, my endpoint 514 is smaller and 520 is bigger. So let me put 514 on the left, 520 to the right, which is everybody see that we're looking for this area, which is the area in, B, in between. Right. So again, we look at the area in between, and if you remember in 11.6, to find the area in between, all we need to do is find a larger percentage or larger area minus the smaller area. But in 11.7, we cannot just go into the chart without convert to the z-score. So the only problem with this problem is we have to convert two of them. We have to find the z-score for a 514, which is take 514 minus by 18 divided by four, and then find that percentage, right? And then we have to find the Z score for the 520, which is 520 minus the 518 divided by four, which is that's Z score, and then find the percentage. So once you have the percentage, again, the only thing left that we need to do is, we need to take the two item, the two area and subtract them. Do not take the z-score. Ladies and gentlemen, do not confuse and let take the z-score, subtract among the z-score. The z-score just tell you, go into your table and identify your area. Once you have it, you take the two area and subtract among themselves, right? So if you subtract this thing here, everybody see that 0 0.69, 0 0.6915, 0 0.6915 minus 0 0.1587, if you subtract them, you have 0.5328. And again, how do we interpret this thing here? We say that 53.28% of the oil cookie package will have to weigh between 514 and 520. Okay. So again, we don't know how much, uh, you know, some might weigh 515, some might weigh 519, but in this area, the green shaded area is considered 53.28 percent of your data okay question here any question can someone uh type in a chat uh, or something make sure that this video did not <laughs> i did not get cut off all right. okay all right it's, it's too silent so, <laughs> too silent, so I, I, I don't know if you're gonna get cut off so i just want Okay. So good to go. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next. Um, it's weird. Like I actually got some milk, and then it's too silent. I, I'm scared. I got cut off. No. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, example two. So let's take a look at example two, which is again. I, I just throw a big number at you guys to to let you guys know that again the data can change. You know, but the uh, the step and the procedure is the same, okay? So again, according, if you take a look at example two, they say according to salary.com, the mean salary for high school teacher in the United States in 2017 was uh, $58,089. With the standard deviation of $15,100, assume that the variable, which is the salary, is normally distributed. And again, the only reason why they say normally distributed is that they say that your data is a bell-shaped curve, right? find the falling probability for this random selected teacher. So again, they change it on you guys now, instead of say find the percentage, they ask you to find the probability. And like I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, find the area, find the percentage, find the probability, it's all the same, okay? So again, don't, don't, don't get distracted by that word. 
is basically you find the area under your curve, right? So again, for A, they actually find the probability that the teacher earned more than $77,719. So what does that mean more than, meaning do you agree that anything above, anything bigger than 77,000 is more than 77,000, which is again, what does that mean? Do you agree that we're looking for the area to the, to the right of this 77,719? Right, which is again, we, we sketch this thing here, which is my sketch I, I put on the right. It's the same sketch as before. It just tell you that, you know, give you an idea of which region we're looking at. So because my sketch to the right, I know that whatever the area I have, I have to subtract that from one, okay? Which is again, before we do that, we need to convert to the Z-score. And to find the Z-score, we need to take the data minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. My data is seven, seven, my mean is 58 and my standard deviation is 15, right? And again, looking at this thing here, this is what I have, which is again, 1.3. So what do I do with the Z-score equal to 1.3 or the Z of 1.3? Well, I have to go to my chart again, because I try to collect, collect all this thing, I don't have a chart pop up for you guys. But again, 1.3 is this, which is the Z-score is 1.3 and the corresponding percentage is 0.9032. Again, you know, the question is, is that my answer? Is that 0.9032 is your answer? Hopefully you guys say no, because we're looking for the item to the right. And to find the item to the right, I need to take one minus whatever I just found, right? Which is again, 0 0.0968. And because they ask you for the percentage, uh, not percentage, because they ask you for probability, so you give them as a decimal form. Okay, the only reason why this answer is in decimal form and not in percentage form because this one here, they ask you for probability. They not ask you for the percentage, okay? So again, percentage, probability, and area is the same. It's just different interpretation, right? So the probability of the teacher earn more than, the probability of you select a teacher and that teacher earn more than $77,719 is 0 .0968. So based on this information, roughly around 10%, right? 10% of the, of, of the teacher, high school teacher earn more than that, right? I mean, I, I just row it to make it easy, but again, 9.7%, right? So again, um, as you can see, hopefully you guys see that it's very consistently the same in, in terms of, 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 of the item. It's just the information they give you is a little bit different, right? The number, this one here is, is bigger, is look harder, but again, it's not that hard, right? Um, same thing, go find a probability of teacher earn less than 32,419. So how do we find an item less, which is again, do you agree that if we were to shade it, we shaded the item to the left. And again, we have the item to the left. So to the left is easy. Why to the left is easy? Because again, if you remember to the left is whatever the Z-score in your table, the area in your table is the answer. But to do that, we have to find a Z-score and to find a Z-score, we take 32 minus the 58 divided by the 15, which is the Z-score is negative 1.7. And again, you go to your table, negative 1.7 is 0 0.0446, which is later in German, this is your answer because we're looking for the item to the left. The left item is the answer in the table, which is again, the probability of the teacher make less than $32,419 is 0 0.0446, right? So again, that's the, the, you know, the question might evolve to something else, right? Because they give you a real life uh, application, but the method is the same. Anything to the left, the answer is on the chart. Anything to the right, you take one minus the answer in the chart. And in between, we just take the two area and subtract among themselves. But the hardest, not the hardest, but the, the only thing we have to do is we have to um, convert convert your item, right? You have to convert the Z-score in this one here. In between, we have to convert the Z-score for both, right? We have to convert the Z-score for the 24,869 and the Z-score for 82,249. And once you convert the Z-score, once you convert this